Scientists have known for a long time that there is a considerable difference in how many babies are born in different seasons. Today on Infertility TV, we are going to use this information to show you when you are most likely to be able to get pregnant. The first thing you need to know about when your peak seasonal fertility is, is that geography matters. Women who live in warm temperature climates have a different fertility pattern than women who live in colder climates. In warm climates, such as the southern states in the USA, there are less births in the spring. This means that conceptions in the previous hot summer were lower. The same pattern is seen in India, Israel, and Taiwan. August is usually the hottest month in the northern hemisphere. Scientists have found that in a warm climate, a hotter August produces less babies than a more moderate August. This impact of temperature does not seem to occur in cooler climates like the northern United States, Canada, or European countries, or at least it's not as important. It is not known why these temperature fluctuations affect fertility. One explanation may simply be that couples are not having intercourse as frequently in the hot summer months. Another theory points to the possibility that heat can reduce sperm numbers and movement. So our Infertility TV bottom line is this. If you live in a warm region, concentrate your efforts on trying to get pregnant when it's a little cooler, such as the fall or spring. If you live in a cooler climate, don't worry about the time of year, it probably won't have much effect. Obviously, there are lots of other things that will affect your ability to get pregnant. If you are trying to conceive, check out this playlist for lots of really helpful tips. If you have questions or an idea for a future episode, leave it in the comments. And you should definitely subscribe to Infertility TV now for new episodes weekly. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.